Here's the thing, no matter how much we romanticize it, relocating is tough. Don't get me wrong, it is undeniably beautiful. Yet there is so much romanticizing that happens with Japain, which leaves little room for the hard, gritty bits of it. This act of uprooting your life means leaving behind everything you've ever known, embracing change, searching for community, and the challenge of adapting to an entirely different environment. So let's acknowledge both the beauty and the struggle, the duality that comes with Japan. Hi everybody, we have a new face with me today. Yeah. Yeah, and um, I think you should just introduce yourself. Hi guys, my name is Blessing Smith. I moved to Canada a couple of months ago. Um, a nutritionist, a oh. dance fitness instructor, and <laughs> a brand influencer. Place. Today we'll be talking about culture shocks that yeah. we've experienced moving to Canada. Mm -hmm. I've always wanted to do this topic, but I don't know, it's like a long time coming. This is, I moved here in June, so this is like, what, six months? There about it's been a while, five basically months. five months here. Yeah. So but I guess better late than never. never. Yeah, and I'm I'm looking forward to talking about this because um, well, the difference between like living in Nigeria and living in Canada is mm -hmm. a, it's a whole lot. Yes, thing. it is. Yeah, and I'm learning so many things, and sometimes I feel weird. For example, mm -hmm. using the self checkout when you go to the shop. Thank you. I'm always like. <laughs> you do this again? And I always feel so ridiculous. I think that's generally that's one of my problems. Mm -hmm. I hate when I don't know how to use something that I think is very easy, very yeah, basic. So then I'm feeling awkward and like, oh, how do I ask somebody? I feel like they'll be judging me. But yeah, it's like you're an adult, and then because you're in this new environment, mm -hmm. then now you don't have to start relearning. You don't feel like a little child. That's how I actually feel. <laughs> But for me now, I, I, what, one thing I've, I've also noticed here is that, I think even generally, but more here, that people don't really care what you're doing. They like, don't yeah, care, like, nobody if cares. If you are taking pictures, it's not See, nobody's business. That's one cultural shock that I love, because as yeah. a content creator, mm. in Nigeria, you can't just stand somewhere and say you want to make videos. Yeah. People will give you weird stares. People will look at you like, what's doing this one? Like, you feel very uncomfortable, like, yeah, but yeah, really. nobody, nobody cares. cares. Especially when you go to the supermarkets, and like you can just be put your food and be mm -hmm. dancing and nobody you know when you get to supermarkets in Nigeria people will be like um no you can't do that here we don't allow this yes but, we, recording is not allowed yeah. blah 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 but yeah nobody cares though mm -hmm. and I really love that freedom it gives as a content creator yeah. to just you know you can create content spontaneously anywhere, yeah, anywhere you are with your camera too yes. you don't have to use your phone yes. because of people um I think another thing for me that for me I don't know about you but have mm -hmm. you lived outside Nigeria at all no, this is yeah, first me, time. I haven't, so this is my first time. <laughs> yeah, so something else for me was that um, tap to pay. Okay. Yeah, so you know in Nigeria, it's there you have cash or your card. Yeah, like, it's POS. When yeah, when they're like, oh, you can actually put your phone to the POS. That one shock me. Is it, like, it's called Interact or something like that? Oh, no, I, I think is that Interact like that? is one of them. I don't think it's, I think it's... Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It works like magic. Me. Yeah, it works like magic. It is it's so good. This is another thing. I feel like people that have moved outside, that have lived outside of Nigeria, they're mm -hmm. watching and be like, "But it's, it's bare minimum." But okay. It's not bare minimum to me. This is my first time experiencing it, so that's another culture shock for me. What about you? Ease of getting a job. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is a pain point for me. Uh, I feel like it touched my my sore oh. spots. But yeah. Talk, talk. <laughs> and I don't know if it is the same for like jobs like cleaning, all these simple mm, menial, jobs. menial jobs. I don't know if it's the same because I've not applied, to be honest, I'd, I've not applied for such. But in terms of like getting something that you're passionate about, something that is in line with your career, mm. I, like for you, that would be what, dietitian? Yes, nutrition, mm -hmm. being a nutritionist or being a fitness instructor. Those are like two things I really want to expand on and, mm -hmm. you know, but Coming from Nigeria, I had the mentality that jobs are plenty here in Canada. Once you apply like this, now them go rush you. Is it like you? And this is not just about me. So many people have talked about their experience. Even me too, I've never been here since June. Literally, every day is unfortunately. <laughs> Do you understand? What annoys me is the fact that you go from one level of interview to the other. Your hopes are, your hopes are raised like you feel like you might get the job and then they'll just come and send on stupid yeah. rejection mail. Yeah. It's very annoying. It's, it's hard. It's very, very annoying. <laughs> and I just feel like that's just, at the beginning, 
it might happen but eventually you just need that one job yeah eventually yeah. everything gets better but at the beginning it is not always as rosy as people yeah why am i even saying people as rosy as i thought as people say it, <laughs> it you know, be. because um, i also wanted to do a video about um experiences experience living in canada right so mm -hmm. i wanted like somebody that had stayed for one year someone that's been here for like two years mm -hmm. like different people and i spoke to one someone and i was like oh you've been here for one year plus do you want to like be my video yeah i said she doesn't want to be you i was why? like why he said because most of the things she has to say are negative and she doesn't want to be <laughs> negative mm, actually i'm like well, people need to hear these things because it's just like oh japa good life good life but Sometimes it's not that easy. Sometimes it takes a while mm -hmm. for you to actually, yeah. It's, it's crazy because it's like, I was going to talk to someone yesterday on Twitter. He said that he's moving, he's moving to Canada next year. I wanted me to just tell him like, oh, what's the experience like? And I was like, hmm. Do you know, it's with you, sorry to cut you, but <laughs> that person that asked you, someone also asked me like that, and I just had to look for the positive, because they won't believe it to look like you don't want them to come and join you, or you're just trying to be negative. Well, for Misha, what I told him was that, oh, first of all, bills. Oh my God. Oh, what are bills? Why do they talk bill? about that? Bills, bills, bills. And that tax, I hate that tax so much. That tax, are you going to buy something? Do you know if you just, buy like, put the whole price? Food is even native. simple. What, what is so. Chocolate, chewing gum. <laughs> yes, if you buy a bottle of water. It's everything, they will have tax to it. Billions, it's crazy. I don't, I'm not used to this kind of life, but this is this is what we want. I feel like I, I'm actually pained because I feel like Nigeria is forcing us to do these things. Some of us are we've, like we're comfortable mm -hmm. at home. We had good jobs. Then you come over here and then you have to now be doing mass and go to the grocery shop. Be like, oh, let's buy this, let's buy this, let's manage our money. Yeah, but living here is expensive, but that's the money that you are kind of managing. Here. Do you know if you take it back to Nigeria, you be? And on that's exchange because of exchange rates. But then if you're in Nigeria, you're not you're not anything. Um, dollars. dollars exactly yes. yeah but i don't know i think cost of living is just high everywhere mm -hmm. to be honest this is when you first came in did you experience like in your brain you're always converting if you buy something you kind of convert it to nera there's no point this is my new reality now to my convert and it held me back from buying a lot of things thing, yeah? yes but now i don't know if i don't think i should continue that way because dollars is different from nera so yeah. It's yeah, because if you keep converting there, uh, you'll be having a hard to break. Because mm -hmm. like these tiniest things, you know, when you convert it, you'll be like, oh, 10k or 9k or something. I was like, how <laughs> am I spending this much money on something oh so God. small and random? Canada. Well, generally, Canada is a beautiful yeah, country. It is. It, it is. is peaceful. It's very peaceful. It's so peaceful that you can die in your house and nobody would know. I'm telling you, <laughs> they would, nobody would know that you've died. You'd just be there. No, that's the bad thing. Ah. Ah. Well, it's not peace. It's peaceful now. You have your peace in your but house. Nigeria is also very good. It was when I got here that I now realized that Nigeria is a good country. If you remove all the yeah. like insecurity, unemployment, bad government, and all that, mm, Nigeria is a good country. Wait, the weather is that? good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The food is good. The people are good. Even if sometimes people don't mind their business, but there's still that community, family-like yeah. feel that Nigerians have, which you can't really find here. Yeah, it's really, it's very, very, very hard. Yeah. Another thing is like how, like you said, community, right? Mm -hmm. So some, there's some things. The other day we went, we we're going out, and then my husband realized that he left the light on in his car, so the battery hey. was drained. I could see the pain in his face. But if you're like Nigeria, you just be like, oh, let me tell you, get smart. Mm -hmm. Now call my candy. Go, you yeah, call your mechanic, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they'll call that kind of thing. Yeah, it's not something that you can that. you can do here. Or like if you're carrying your load up or something, man, just every time I just remember my gates, man. <laughs> I suggest me we just carry all my things for me. Uh, but so yeah, people are nice. So I've met so, a white man. Okay, I was okay. carrying something very heavy. He was like, let me help you. Oh, <laughs> that's nice. Okay. Um, what's that one you talked about? The variety options, of options. Of confusing options. Do you know that if you want to buy? Name anything in this world that you want to apple. buy. That's my apple. Main point. <laughs> you see different types of I'm red apple, you. different types of green Brand apple. Smith. This one, this one. I know, I know the names now. I had to ask on Instagram. I was like, please, you should advise me. My Which favorite apple fruit I buy? is mango. Oh, yeah? So I know I the way the, the way you nice know here. the names of apples. Me, I know the name of mango. Yeah, which one is a nice one? Mango rasa. <laughs> We had this friend, right? M A N G A, then R O S A, Manga Rosa. Ah, okay, thanks. Very nice. The other ones I tried, so bland. 
like it's not nice at all. There are different options of for mangoes. Everything. Even potato. Have you tried my sweet potato? No, before? I had this uh, orange, so I don't want to. No, no, no. The, the good one is the Japanese one. Japanese. Yeah, it's, it's almost like that. Make I write it down yeah. before it's I forget. Purple. It tastes no, like. Yeah. Are you sure it's, it's sweet nice? Sweet potato. Yeah, Japan. Yeah, I, I eat it. I, I asked on my Instagram. That's how I knew. So yeah. People are like, yeah. And if you go to the ethnic store, that's where you find. Yeah, there's an yeah. ethnic store yeah. um, in my own place as well. That's where I shop for because you find things that are close to Nigerian yeah, taste. Yeah. They are okra. Have you tried okra? Mm -hmm. Oh, is not, do you like okra from Nigeria? Mm -hmm. You're not I'm really a fan. Yeah, Have you tried um, vegetable? What's this thing called? Spinach. Yes, we use oh. spinach to do obono, I think. I don't really like it. It's not. And we use spinach for a foreign roll. Yeah, some people like it for a foreign roll, but I don't feel like it's close to the Niger taste so which enough for use? me. I've not really found. <laughs> okay, there's a Nigerian this? store, mm -hmm. African store. Yeah. Yeah, the woman sells vegetable. There are African food here, just pricey. It is. It is. One time I wanted to buy Greek yogurt. Do you know I saw different mm. options of Greek yogurt? I can't they Google because on one they write two percent. Uh, yeah, all those things. So I can't they yeah. Google that was yeah. in Nigeria we don't have options like just going to the store, what you want Before. is there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you have different <laughs> I'm telling you. Another thing that <laughs> really this one is kind of sad, Shabo. Mm -hmm. It's like when you go, like you said, options things. For pads, like them, um, always, honestly, there's so many brands here. There's one big, so many options. Always, like, yeah, the lack is one. long. Mm -hmm. do you but know, we don't have this thing. We don't have it. I tried, out of curiosity, mm -hmm. I bought it. Me, that it's best stain sometimes. I th yes, it's, it's long, it's wide. Yeah, and it has like two wings. So yes, like, that is it. Do you yeah, know that when I use it, I don't get yeah, it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I actually did a video on Instagram for that. For Are you that serious? Yeah, I was it like, shocked you. Bro, I was like, see, see my hand, see how long it is. It, yeah, it's it was really so long. Yeah. But we don't, why don't we have good things? I don't know. Well, we have good weather. <laughs> we have, oh, we have good weather. Good we do. Good. I'm not looking forward to the winter. Cold. I don't like the cold. I don't. I don't. You know, Nigeria, you always adapt. That's hey, the thing. Hey, We're very adaptable. <laughs> That's the, when, like, when we first all call, um, came here, mm -hmm. every time people would say something, they'd be like, oh, winter is coming. But I still no doom. But it's mm -hmm. into winter, shall it? That's not really come. Yeah, it doesn't really come. But I really liked fall because of the aesthetics, the color of the leaves. Yeah. I know. Yeah, I think before coming here, I used to hear like fall, but I didn't know that it was like the beginning of cold weather. Me too, I did. Yeah, know. I just thought, oh, everything will be looking nice. But, oh, well, <laughs> cold <laughs> bro and it's just like oh now you have to buy specialized so for when we start getting too cold weather mm -hmm. i just oh my show body oh I just my pack everything i packed it in one box right like, see you next year mm -hmm. summer so see so you next year summer yeah and it's difficult for me because coming from Nigeria, mm -hmm. I'm not so used to this dressing of wearing boots wearing yeah. sweaters that's so another thing i don't feel expressive enough sometimes yes, when i wear all of this mm -hmm. cover up cover up i feel awkward <laughs> like, no, I, get it. I had this conversation with my husband on sunday I, <laughs> I had the conversation with him on sunday because we went to church the weather was cold me said if i did check weather now before ah, I, I step important. out i can't see now one degree Jeez. oh my cold go and i was sweater <laughs> when i got here i started saying sweater <laughs> now sweater <laughs> I'll, I'll wash room for toilet that is annoying i don't want sweater <laughs> I want boots. I want just I see what time I wear inside oh, it. Where do you wear your time wear from? Amazon. Oh yeah? yeah. Oh, you should send me a link after. Okay. okay. So do you know that in church, eh, me that normally in church, I go dance very well. I could not really move well Why? because it feels like a body. I don't wear boots. Like it feels it's well, not it's like, like it's one heavy. Of high heel or something. Yeah, it, it had high heel. It's not heavy. It's normal. It's but because foreign. I'm not used to it, yeah. It felt very alien to me. Mm -hmm. And I didn't feel like I could express my personality mm -hmm. very well. Uh, it's something that I have to adapt to because I don't have a choice. choice I can't yeah. be wearing cropped yeah. up inside cold or like clothes that would not accommodate the cold yeah i think for me too it's, it now feels hard for me because obviously like it's like you so i yeah. have the same problem for me to like i don't know what my style is like anymore exactly because like the, what am i i don't know i'm just like i just wear a winter jacket it's so bland like it's it doesn't so say anything about your personality yes i'm still struggling with that me too, one i'm still struggling so, with it it feels like i've lost my expression you know you can ex there's a way you feel confident in what you're wearing yeah and you feel this kind of extra yeah. exactly i feel like i've lost my style or my style is on old till next yeah. year 
crazy. I get what you mean. That's why what I try to do is when I'm browsing on Instagram, I, I save like good winter styles that are fashionable. Mm -hmm. that I, yeah, me too. I save them me too. On, yeah, you know so when I you save videos. a video on Instagram, you can put it in like folders. folders. Yeah, so that's I what I do. They have winter fashion. <laughs> Winter I have this fashion thing. is poor. Bro, I said, no, just winter fashion. Winter fashion. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay. Another thing is, like, now looking for a church. I have, I have a friend that went to, like, different churches, like, white people's church. She's trying to see, like, where she wants okay. to go to. But us, we've only been to church once. Okay. So she, you know, see a lot of people, when they move, this like, going to church. Someone I used to go to church, like, every weekend, mm -hmm. it just reduces. Mm -hmm. So, I'm still, I'm still, what church do you guys go to? Redeem. Oh, it was easy together. for me. No, 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 it's in Mississauga. It was oh, easy yeah. for me to. Oh, wait, what's the what, church? Pray was the. What's the old church? House of Praise. Yeah, I've gone there once. Yeah, oh, really? yeah. I think we'll go tomorrow as so. well. Oh. Yeah. Talking <laughs> about church here. Eh? I don't know if it's a culture shock, but let me just talk about it. Something I've noticed. I've moved from culture shock to child. Just talking about <laughs> our experience here. It's fine. Yeah, in Canada, it is so easy to not maintain your relationship with god because it feels like everything you need is at your disposal i need job i need, I need pray no, maybe what? apart from <laughs> maybe apart from job everything uh, you need is, <laughs> yeah uh, we joined that one uh, too jesus okay. yes. <laughs> everything you need is at your disposal unlike nigeria where there's that there's you are praying to be saved okay, you are praying I get it. So yeah, if you have to be extra yeah. intentional to maintain that your relationship with God and if you can get the hold of it, mm -hmm. it's going to be so beautiful because now you are not coming to God from the aspect of what you need, what you need, mm -hmm. what you need. You are kind of comfortable, but you still prioritize God. <laughs> you get so if yeah. you can get to that level, yeah, I feel like it's so beautiful. But Nigeria is almost like it's your problem that is moving you closer yeah. to God. Yeah, I don't know if I explained it well. No, I, I totally get what you're saying. Me, I can't relate to because my own relationship is because it's not because of problems. Mm -hmm. But I get it, I get it. It's like when you leave your house in the morning, you are sure you get to work, yes. you are sure you come back, there's light, you go to bed, you know, like, it's very calm and peaceful. Yes, so, yes, yeah, yes. it's so easy for you to just move along every day without like, oh, I've not read my Bible, I've mm -hmm. not prayed, that kind of thing. I, I, I totally get what you're talking about. Ah, man, it's just crazy. Oh. Look at that man now. They like pets in this country. Bro, everybody has a <laughs> Culture dog. shock. Everybody and their <laughs> sisters and everybody have it. Like, this building, there are a lot of dogs here, so there are dogs everywhere. I mean, I like dogs, but... Yeah, I don't like dogs. Are you serious? Please, don't you like cats? I'm sorry, no. Don't you don't like animals? I don't like... Oh. I'm sorry, I'm animals. Missing. Oh, I love dogs. I, I like, like humans. Ah, you, have, you have no choice. <laughs> and I like dogs. But in the future, I'll get a dog, not now. Because dogs are expensive. My husband said the same to get a dog. I said no. You, you, you go to, you go to like. I will not grow to like it. Dogs are so friendly, though. But yeah. they can attack you in but the future. Attack, no, uh, I've read something on Insta. It's cats that will blog. attack you like I've that. I've read something on Insta blog that the dog attacks the owner. Mm -hmm. It's very rare. Dogs are very loyal. Yeah, dogs are very loyal. I mean, don't you see, like, even on Instagram too, you see, like, people that put their baby, they just give birth to their baby, like, with the dog, and nothing. I can't. Well, it's, it's, it's understandable. Me, I don't like cats. Those ones are evil. No, nah, they're not evil. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. That's conditioning. When I say evil, I don't mean, like, witch, witches. Mm -hmm, and, uh, mm -hmm. I'm very, like, you just be able to, the cat to just slap you. So I'm just, eh? Cats are very violent people. I'm telling you, they're, they're I so self reliant. Hey. Like, what I say, cats are always crossed in the next room. Don't come and scratch me, please. Cats can just attack you unprovoked. Ha. I'm telling you. So, and, they, and then they are sharp clothes. I don't know how true it is, but someone told me that if anybody's pet attacks you in this country, yeah, like, you, you can make a lot of money, like oh. you sue them. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's another thing. Like the law system actually works here. Yes, it yeah. does. Compared to like obviously in Nigeria. Yeah. Does. And this country is a leveler. There is oh, nothing like <laughs> my <laughs> uncle's brother, uncle's it's, sister yeah. will put me in one position. I'm sure there is though. Yeah. There will be, but it's not like rampant, and it will probably be like people that are really rich. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think there always is, but it's not just like how it is in Nigeria, where it's like. Even right from um, small things like NYC, there's really so good. Yeah. You know, if you favored me, Shaq, as me, I not. <laughs> I, I, I stayed in Lagos, so you favored me. One thing that shocked me mm -hmm. is there was one time we ordered Uber 
and the car that ah, came. Ah, he came with Tesla. Tesla. Oh, no, no, don't talk Tesla. about it. Tesla. Don't talk that about it. That's the first time I saw yeah, Tesla in my life. Me too. As Uber. Yeah. I don't even know. I, I, maybe it's easier to... I mean, it's also easy here to get things mm -hmm. because you have like a credit card, right? Yes. And they also have like payment I like plans. Credit card. I don't yeah. too. Thank you. I'm wasting my husband. I don't get the concept of this. Like, I don't why want to do you want me to be in debt? Like, exactly. But then credit score. It's exactly the same thing I was telling my husband. I was like, I don't understand. The option is that you want me to be, I don't need your credit, your money. Mm -hmm. But you want me to take your money so that I can prove to you that if you I give can, me something, I can repay yes, you. Yes, like, good uh, I need to ask you now. Leave me alone. Do you understand? <laughs> I'm not saying like that's how they do it. I'm like, yeah, they don't, it doesn't make any sense to me. But I think that's another thing too. It's so easy to assess things here, even if you're like a regular person. Mm -hmm. I want to say regular. Like, I don't have like a lot of money. Yes. Compared to Nigeria, where you have to save, save, save. But here, you have like a credit card, yes. or they put you on a payment plan, mm -hmm. stuff like that. This, this, I think this is a good culture show. Sure. Actually, the credit card thing. Yeah, it is. But I don't like credit cards. I card don't card. like it at all. Do you yeah. know what I do? Mm -hmm. Because I, I want to get a good credit score, so I try to deliberately use it. Mm -hmm. But if I use it, get something today, tomorrow we'll I'll go. <laughs> I'm telling you, we, we have the same life. My husband is always like, just wait till they tell you your statement. I can't wait. I don't want to forget that money, the money. And I don't want to owe anybody money. I, ah. I get it. I honestly get it. <laughs> another culture oh, another show. One for me. Um, okay. It's how sane the roads are. Right? So, if, for example, if we're driving and... So the light is green, so we're mm -hmm. driving. Even when we get to an intersection mm -hmm. where the like, cars can come like this, I'm always like, slow down. <laughs> but because I'm expecting all Nigerian mentality, when you're driving, you'll be looking left, right. Yes. But once the light is green, I'm like, nobody's going to come. Just don't worry, we keep going. So that's another thing for me. That shocks you. Yeah. Something related to that mm -hmm. about like driving that also shocks me is that pedestrian is a king Bro. in this country. Yeah. Nigeria, eh? If you running. want to cross, you go wait, make the car first wait. Before the car go even pause for you, say if you feel stand for bus stop for Bro. like I'm not exaggerating, five minutes. Yeah, I want you to start crossing, even if the cross what's they call the pedestrian sign that you can yes, cross. Yes. Even if it goes even off. Even if it goes people off. Would wait See, you can you even pass. take your time, cut walk. <laughs> The cars will not move on. <laughs> they respect you in this country. So that one shocked me because coming from where I'm coming from, mm -hmm. it is it is not the yeah. norm. There. Yeah, it isn't. Because if you don't want you'll be like, oh, stay there, make a jam. You're something <laughs> ridiculous like that. So I always run. Please, I don't want to cross anyhow. Um, I think something else that was a culture shock for me, I think is um the housing. The housing market here, because like normally, if you have money, you rent, right? But know? here, if you have hmm. money, you still have to jump through hoops. It's it's crazy. When I was in Nigeria, I just had the mentality that if you get to Canada or abroad, it's mm -hmm. so easy to get the house. Mm -hmm. No, you know, normally from in Nigeria, especially Lagos, to get house is very yeah, difficult. The struggle. Mm -hmm. So I thought it was just a Nigerian thing mm -hmm. to get house here. They will ask for so many things, your credit score, mm -hmm. so, to just prove that you can It's ridiculous. I just paying. came to your country. I cannot have credit score. Like, I'm new. Exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm a new immigrant. How am I supposed to have It doesn't make any sense, score? but apparently that's... But they just want to be sure that you can continue, pay continually pay the rent. They don't want to run into... Yeah, because I hear that that's another thing I hear that people do here. So, like, even if your rent is due mm -hmm. and you don't pay, they cannot kick you out of the house. Yes, yes, yes. So you can even be living there, like doing court, whatever, mm -hmm. but, but you still get like maybe three months free, still living in the yeah. house. And it's crazy. I don't, sometimes it's like the way the law works here is good, but it's also bad. <laughs> yeah. I was talking about, I was talking about um, something similar with my husband the other day. But I was telling him how I feel like assessing healthcare is easier in Nigeria. Really? Yeah, but then he told me that it's probably because I'm coming from like a privileged background. Mm -hmm. So for example, now you can go to the hospital here and say that, oh, um, you want to take out your ID. This one is an example from someone's comment on my Instagram. Okay. That you want to take out your IUD and then they'll give you like three months appointments. Like, oh, come back in three months. Oh, yeah. If, but if it's Nigeria, you just walk in and you get it done. Yeah. The protocol, yeah. It's so oh. much. But I mean, it's a good thing. But it's good because it gives a structure. Yeah, but it's get. because we're not used to it. So it's just <laughs> we're like, used to Jaga Jaga. Uh, <laughs> it's just like, ah, which one is giving me which a Which one is it? Enough is like they are doing too much. Yeah, I get it. But you know, that's the thing. When you come from a dysfunctional place, it takes you a while for you to actually 
like get into the law and, and order then thing. for them if they ever come to nigeria and see that kind of structure they'll feel like we're mad yeah, like I what's going on here why mad. so disorganized so yeah that's that's one, one, one culture one. show <laughs> look at your nose again um yes if you want to go out yeah. the normal thing is to check the weather before you go out because yeah. the weather determines how you're going to, to dress, dress. Especially now that it's, it's cold. I'm always like, um, hey Siri, what's the weather like today? <laughs> yeah, another thing from this thing that you just said is the fact that Google Map is actually very helpful for public transport. I don't even know how to interpret it. Oh, no worries, me too, I'm bad. But it's just like, in Nigeria, I did not know that I can, like I don't use, Google Map is, oh, I'm going to Lekki, put your address, go mm -hmm. there. But you cannot use Google Map to say, oh, I'm going to Lekki, but I want to enter a bus. How am I going to go? But here, yeah, like literally, you just put it and it plots. Oh, I've never yeah, even yeah. tried this. Oh, you should, oh. I didn't bother, because from uh, Nigeria, I didn't even know how to interpret uh, a map. Oh, so no, I just didn't bother. Don't worry, I get you. The first time I did, I did like round trip and I stopped here and I asked him, I was like, please come and pick me because... But is it accurate? Yeah, it is. Wow. Yeah, literally, when you open it, you, say, you put your address where you want to go and you know how it is on Google Maps where you have um, walking, driving, bus. Yeah. So when you click on the bus, it tells you, um, bus, bus stop, whatever, arrives in 15 minutes, huh. get down after 12 stops, that kind of thing. So, it's Everything something... Everything here is so organized. It is. It is. Very, very organized. And it's beautiful, actually. Mm -hmm. But it's because, like stressful. you said, because we're not used to it, so... <laughs> it's more stressful. It's stressful to my us. Sister, my, sister, my, my sister took my her child, my nephew, mm -hmm. to the hospital like two days ago. And then they were in the hospital for like three hours or thereabouts, only for them to now see the doctor and the doctor was like, oh, take this medicine and go. I'm just like, After waiting for, for so hours. long, like, it's really, but it's something that you can just walk into any private hospital. <laughs> but again, like my husband said, maybe it's our privilege. Speaking. Yes, yeah, because yes. other people that may not have enough, they may have to go to, go to like a public hospital. Exactly. And, yeah, all those kind of things. Yeah. Hmm, God. Do you know, I thought that, like, when I was in Nigeria, I thought mm -hmm. that, if we're in the same Canada, I'm even in the same Ontario. It's so easy to be so Oh, together. yes, thank you so much. That's very much. <laughs> Ontario, big. Ontario now. Like, I'll just visit you. Mm -hmm. Hey! It's big. I stay in Milton. From Milton to Go where off. Cassie stays, it was about 35 to 40 minutes. So it, it doesn't make it so easy to visit people yeah. just randomly. Mm -hmm. It has to be planned. You have to see how it fits into your schedule. Mm -hmm. So that one shocked me. Oh, it really, really shocked yeah, me. Me too, honestly, because it's like there's um another city in Ontario, Ottawa. Yeah. That one is like what six hours away. Wait, Ottawa is in Ontario too. Yeah, it is. Six hours. I'm telling you. Same Ontario. Right, yeah. Stop playing. I'm telling you. <laughs> That's why I went like three six weeks hours. ago. Six hours. And it was like a proper. It's like going to the east. If you're like, well, I'm from I'm Ipo. So it's like going to from Lagos to Anambra. It was ah. long. It was long as heck. Bro, when he came back, he slept for like two days. <laughs> it's so crazy because it's the same. It's like being in Lagos and you want to go from Ikeja to Lekki, but it's like... For Lagos own, it can be that... Because of traffic. Because of tra eh? But there's no traffic here. So like the amount of time you spend going from um, Sulere to Lekki plus traffic, right? You spend the amount of time going from one city to another minus traffic. Minus traffic. And it's long. It is very, it's very long. long. And mm. if by car, you would get there in 35 minutes, do you know that by bus, bus or by train? Yes. Oh my God, it's so much longer. I don't Why? Even, I have, my, my husband says that, uh, um, I keep saying my husband, oh God. <laughs> you to be saying my husband well, said no. Get us one though. <laughs> well, he said, he told me that, um, the transport system here in Canada is not is not really good. The public, okay. yeah. Well, he went. He's called. He did his masters in UK. Oh yeah, that the UK. Yeah, and bus yeah. system is better. Yeah. To so me, I don't know. I've not experienced any. <laughs> well, I know the yellow bus. Doubtful. Doubtful. So, yeah, I think that's another thing. That was another thing. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Know. I think I actually wrote some things down on my planner somewhere. Would you go and check? I should stand up for can't. <laughs> oh, they say healthcare is free. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Have you have you have you been to the hospital? No. Ah, I'm always praying when go please tell us go to the hospital. I think it's free for people Some with things. PR. Oh yes, it's not PR. No, no. School. My husband was work. a student. Oh, so some money work oh, no. I don't really know. I mean, I have my health card and everything. Okay. But oh, that's another thing. Oh my God. Okay. It is a, um, obviously <laughs> this is bad because this is how it should be. Okay. Right. But coming from where I'm coming from. It's like, I went to the hospital the other day, I said I was having a headache. The doctor checked me and everything. She said, oh, she thinks I have sinusitis. She wrote 
prescription for me. Okay. What did she write? Um, nasal spray mm-hmm. and um, allergy medicine. So when I say allergy medicine, I'm talking about like loracidine. I'm not sure. Oh, okay, okay. okay. It's not a common thing. Okay. What, I'm, what I'm trying to get to is that it's something that you don't go to the pharmacy. Give me loratidine. Mm-hmm. And well, now, obviously, the cost of you in Nigeria now is, is high. Yeah. But back then, probably like 100 naira. I'm sure you can still get like 200 naira and you move on. But then we finished and everything was like 80 something dollars. I'm what? Like, I'm like, what did we get? My brain automatically Just, converted it to naira so, first. Yeah, like what? it's so ridiculous. Vitamin C, all these kind of things. But you better go to the, what's it called? Pharmacy. Mm-hmm. You'll be seeing $9, 10 12 95 all those kind of things. I'm like, it's something you just walk to the pharmacy in your shop, but then again, like I said, it's because um, this is how it's actually supposed to be. All the drugs are supposed mm-hmm. to be, yeah, because I'm, that's why we have like fake drugs in Nigeria. Because you just go to any pharmacy, you just take anything you get, yeah. But yeah, no, ah. one time my husband's ear was blocked with wax, and we're not thinking, ah, if we go to the hospital now, they'll ch- charge so much money. We had to go and buy the kit that we did at home. Those are things that you just go to your pharmacy or somewhere you get, and it's not cost you so much. Yeah, there's a lot of DIY here. Ah, yeah, I know DIY, for sure. For sure. <laughs> ah, all this our share everything while we DIY everything. We fix everything up by ourselves. Oh, yeah, on local, so you can relate. Oh, you, about oh, like when you want to make your hair, make braids. Oh, yeah, my system is it's very expensive. expensive. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, that's another thing. I did the all back on that this week. I did it myself. Oh. Okay, are you good with braiding? Or you're just like. Trying. On myself, I'm trying, but I can't do it on someone else's oh, hair. My sister makes her hair, all the hair. By herself, mm-hmm. right? Braids, kinky, everything. So, me, I'm zero. <laughs> I don't have anyone. I'm just like, let me just manage my big, my low cut. Just that. I might just, eventually cut my hair, sure. Because you should cut it during It's summer. easier to maintain. <laughs> because <laughs> if you manage to leave your house in the winter, and you look over your head, and your hair is low cut. The cold will enter from your brain. Into your skull. <laughs> no, no, no. But for real, just imagine like being, you know, your hair but actually you insulates. Up, yeah, you wake up now. But if you just do mistake one day, and you fuck, I yeah, it insulates. Little... Yeah, once you just take it off, like, the cold will so enter very well. Just like how when you have your bath and okay, well, have you ever cut your hair before? Yes. And uh-huh. so when you pour water in your head, you feel like. This is feeling. Uh, yes, now. In like, Nigeria, yes. No, even when you pour water, cold water or something, huh. the cold will enter you well. In this Canada, I bet with warm water. I know. But as soon as I'm done beating, the, the way ah, the cold, cold air. Hmm. You have to dry up fast, fast. 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 I, I always do everything inside the bathroom. Close the door, please. Because once you just come out <laughs> to the outside <laughs> like this, the air will just engulf you. Welcome back. <laughs> and it's so funny because we haven't even. People keep saying, oh, this is evil. We've not gotten to winter. That's the thing. People keep saying you've not seen anything. You've yeah, not. So when the real anything. winter comes, how would I survive? If I'm already complaining with this one that I've seen, how would I survive? God, I beg. <laughs> because we, 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 we haven't even gotten snow here. So. At all. Yeah, some people, some people already have snow. Yeah, in Rajat, we'll they have snow already. We'll Winnipeg, there's snow already. Calgary, I think. There's snow. I think so. I can't wait to see my first snow. Yeah, same actually. Yo. The other day, it was raining ice. Yes, it raining ice is new thing too. I even so made a video about yeah. it. I posted it on my Insta story. I was like, what if I was going to look at it? I was like, wait, is this snow? It was new to me. I yeah. liked it. Then I, I made a comment on my Insta story that if it was in Nigeria on Insta blog, you see the caption like community members beg God to reduce his anger as he sent. Oh God. <laughs> Stone <Wait>. rain. <laughs> just, I, I was saying that. Just imagine you being on bike mm-hmm. and that kind of rain starts falling. You go feel. Bro, you know how it is when the rain is falling and your bike goes as if the. The room is drizzling, mm-hmm. the thing is hitting you. you. Now imagine it's being ice. Nah. But so far, yeah, mm-hmm. it's still, like I, I, I was saying about the person that asked me on Twitter about this place. Okay. And I was like, well, first of all, bills, expect that. You're paying water bill, you're paying yeah. light bill, you're like, oh, when you leave a room, put up the lights, we're not using it, all those kind of things. Mm-hmm. Definitely bills. Um, housing, just know that when you come here. Sorry, shift. Well, Oh, yeah, house, just that when you come here, it's not as easy as, oh, I found a house and I like, okay, landlord, give me a house. You have to, like, oh, bring a referral, a referral yes. or something like yes. that. It's stressful. And then people actually, like, apply to get houses. Yeah, like, you actually have to apply, they have to yes. approve you getting the house. Mm-hmm. And what else? I was like, oh, work. Well, I, don't, I was telling you, I don't want to say that work may be hard to find because my husband got a job 
before you even moved. Mm. Right? So I'm like, I will just tell you, maybe it's my own peculiar situation that I've still not gotten a job, right? So I'm not going to be negative and be like, you might not get. So I was like, okay, as well, that as well. Mm -hmm. um, what else? Oh, being lonely. When I said coming to his wife, I was like, it's fine. Being lonely. Yeah, you, because you're with your husband. I didn't experience it. Because you're with your husband. Yeah, I didn't experience it. Oh, were you here it. alone for a while? No, no, my husband was here Why? for That's a while. How have you experienced it being here with your husband? No, but tell me. Talk. You're listening. No, no, I'll see what I'm saying. I don't want to sound no. like I'm invalidating this. It's okay. Experience. It's fine. The depression thing is, is valid, is real, mm. but from my own experience being here, I don't know if it's better to come with your spouse or... Tell us your experience. Why do you think that... Or like, when you say you've never experienced it, what, what is that like? Okay, mm -hmm. so... This is something I actually want to talk about in my... In your own way, I just yes, give a shot. I'll just... Okay, coming from... Well, in Nigeria, the narrative was that the year is lonely, it's depressing. So, knowing that from Nigeria, I knew some people that are already here and they were Milton. So I was very particular about my husband getting our own apartment in Milton so that I will be close to these people that I already know because mm -hmm. coming abroad is already on its own, mm -hmm. lonely. So I don't want to add extra loneliness to the already existing loneliness by going far away from people that I already know. So I was deliberate about staying in Milton because of Your these friends. people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So and it helped because the house is just like five minutes away from us. Um, we go around together. We go to church together. Um, we do we some evenings together mm -hmm. in each other's house. So yeah. Well, you said that's a peculiar situation because some people may not be able to detect where they move to. Hmm. For example, I haven't got a job in Guelph. That's why we're here. Okay. Do you get? Yeah. Some people. Maybe where they finish school, where their work is, that's where they have to be. So they, we don't have a lot of friends. I mean, we have a Nigerian people, but we're not friends like that. So my husband had a friend that recently moved to Guelph. Okay. He was in Toronto, Toronto before. But it's not like we see them every day, right? So but you, I guess you're fortunate enough that you could actually detect where you work. Does someone work from home? Yes. Aha, uh -huh. do you see? Mm. What if, if his job was wherever, I don't know where the headquarters can be. Able to you know wouldn't have been able to move yes, to Yes, you're right. Yeah. And then if he goes to work, my husband goes to work, so me and my home. Um, like last week he traveled to Vancouver for work for like five days. When he came out, I was like, let me even test my voice. I don't know if my voice is working. Oh, because like I'm, you're not I'm just here. To like, anybody. I'm not speaking to anybody. So I'm just yeah, here. I get your point. Yeah, you, do you understand? Before at least even if I mean in Lagos or Nigeria, you mm -hmm. have neighbors, you'll be hearing their voice. Yes. Well, yeah, see, Even if you are not over. so close, but yeah. you'll be hearing... You'll be hearing people making noise. Mm -hmm. Just, well, see, see how quiet it is. That's how it is. Morning, sit on my chair, do my work. Night, bath, go to bed, wake up. Yeah. So, I, I want to say I get it too. I get it. Because I, I can imagine if I didn't come with him. Me personally, I'm not really like a outgoing, Ex jumpy, jumpy Exactly. Person. I think that's also one thing for me. Mm -hmm. I like my space. I like my... Mm -hmm. Privacy, I like my space. But online, people see me online would not know that oh, I'm yeah. like that in reality. Online, I'm more like an extrovert. Mm -hmm. But in real life, um, I tend towards the introverted side. Mm -hmm. So I don't mind the, in quotes, loneliness. I don't mind the not having a lot of people around me yeah. vibe that Canada gives me. I don't really mind it like that. Mm -hmm. But guess, sometimes you get tired of your space yeah. too now. No, me too, I'm very much like indoors, but... Still busy. By the time you stay like two days, three days, four days, <laughs> you're like, please, what's happening outside? Come on, someone come and visit me. But yeah, yeah. I guess uh, I guess it's a personal experience. So, like you now, you have your own experience. Other people have their own experience. Even though the majority of people probably yeah. feel, yeah, if you're alone. I don't know. I feel like if my husband was alone, he, would, he wouldn't feel so lonely because he's a very outgoing person. Mm -hmm. And again, also, he, he has work that takes him out of work, so he sees his colleagues. So you see, there are different variables to this thing. There are different factors. Yeah. It's not a general thing, but that is not to invalidate yeah, the fact well, that... People feel. Yes, people yeah, come here be, and get be. depressed and get lonely. It is a very, very valid feeling. Yes. But experiences differ from people to people. Yeah, definitely. Oh God, things are expensive here. This is no culture shop, but I mean, it's kind of it culture, me. culture shop. No, it shocked me all because in Nigeria, you know, I think when you come here, still the yeah. reference. I used to feel like I don't know where I got that mentality, but I just felt like abroad, eh, people there's a lot of obesity and overweight because. Mm. Um, Healthy food it's is expensive, expensive. Oh, it's expensive, and then junks are cheaper. Junks are cheaper actually. Mm. I do not. 
Maradona. Sumsha. Maradona. LD foodies. Oh, was that what I said? Thing. Yes, drugs are cheaper. LD foodies. Expect. I've forgotten the mentality, <laughs> but it just shocked me when I got here. Food is expensive. Yeah, it's, it's, literally, you just go and you buy like two things, and then your bill is already like seven something to last. You're like, what's oh. going on? What am I buying? It's crazy. But like I said, I just in my head, it's just like cost of living everywhere is bad. It's bad. Yes. Oh my God, just bad. another thing is that you know how you said it's a leveler. It's like um, I was thinking about it yesterday because mm -hmm. I was thinking, hmm, maybe I should just get a regular job like you know this customer service reps or if you go to you know is that here is just yes normal. i'm thinking People, of starting with that yeah so, custom, and it's going to be remote so i won't be going yeah you're talking about the phone one right yes yeah okay so i was thinking about it back home i would never be thinking that ah, maybe i should go and start working maybe a band or something like mm. but yeah nobody, yeah, nobody it's cares thing. Yeah. you have to survive <laughs> your bills don't Bro, scare the kind yeah. of job you do yeah, like i'm actually, actually thinking cares. i had the conversation with a few miles but i don't mind starting with that yeah, that's not like my career is, career yeah, just, career yeah. but I don't mind. Do. Since I came, I've not worked now. Yeah, I get so, it. and mm -hmm. I can't keep going like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because in this country, it's not yeah. just a, my husband will pay everything. Yeah. You have to ask, assist Both in one way yeah. or the other. It's, it's a lot. It's, it's partnership, it's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. So, even like now that I'm not doing anything, like working in Canada, I'm not comfortable. Yeah. I, I feel I somehow, mm -hmm. I don't want to be like that forever. Yeah. Even if there's maybe like content creation on the side, YouTube on the side, influencing on, it's not, it's not the same as working in I Canada and earning in Canada. Yeah. I don't know if you experience it, this guilt, like when you see your husband working yeah. or going to work. It is well. 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 Well, yeah, it is well I think we really talked about most of the things. I'm actually glad that I finally talked about this because in my head I'm like, oh, I'm going to do culture shock, culture shock. I need to talk about my experience in Canada. But it's good because now I'm like, I'm even talking to you and I know that we have kind of similar experiences. Yes. Okay? And my head's like, okay, well, I'm not the only one that feels exactly, this exactly. Exactly. Kind, of, kind of similar. But it's, it's as well, I keep, we keep praying <laughs> and we keep trusting God. Be because it really starts like this. It's not for everybody. Some people come and they have okay. great jobs. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let me tell you something why I know that everything is going to be great. Okay. My coming year, your coming year is not a mistake. I mean, I know I was in a long distance marriage. My husband came yeah. first. I know how much I prayed and hoped and trusted God for this to yeah. happen. And it happened. God that brought me here yeah. will not just leave me to suffer, not be happy, not get yeah. the job of my dream. God that brought me here would also be so intentional about me that will make everything for the Amen. place at the right time so yeah. i have that trust that yeah. same <laughs> actually right. I, I do i do man as well i guess this is how it was for you know how um our parents their pairs back then like most of them moved and that's how we are right now mm. you don't you don't have like cousins or so that all live abroad because yes. their parents moved you get yeah so like us so that's how it will be i was looking you at know? them as the lucky ones yeah you know, that's how it is for you obviously you have like friends in nigeria right <laughs> and you you've left so by the time you have kids that's how we would be we'll be like Actually. those people that left back then yeah and then i guess it works out at the end yeah this so is this is even a sacrifice for our kids yeah. exactly uh, 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 yes, so that's uh, 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 it probably works out but i think it will work out yes do you feel you can stay here for a long time i feel yeah. like i might go back to nigeria at some point yeah. i don't see the thing is that funny enough there's no i don't really miss nigeria yeah, I do. you do i don't but I'm in denial. Like I feel like it's too early for me to think about it. It's, it's, okay. Too, early. it's okay. It's too early for me to miss them. So sometimes when that feeling comes up, I ignore it. It's okay. It's it is what it is. If you miss it, you miss it. But me personally, I don't. I just think about my parents. I'm like, oh God, please. Yeah, my family. I think oh, it's please. my family and yeah, my sister is here. Friends. My two sisters are still in Nigeria. My brother is here. Mm. Well, is he in Ontario too? No, Regina. Oh, okay. Maybe yeah. if my all my family members call me, I will yeah. not miss Nigeria. <laughs> oh my god, I'm always thinking about. It. I'm just like, ah, oh god, please let me let me get a job and like start bowling so that yeah. I can make them like make them travel, vacation before. Because the people, our friends are getting older. Yes. Because I, I I just I'm just like God, please. I don't want to ever just wake up and call me one day and see that. Oh. Somebody has died. I just, I just so faint. See, I don't even want to. I don't want so, to. And then you've not seen them for a while, and just next thing you come back and say is ah, burial. Eh, come for me.
please. Yes, I think we've come to the end of this video. Yay! I feel like this is going to be a long video. I hope any of you that stay till this and part... And move from shock to emotional. Bro. <laughs> and you stay till the end of this video, I give you props. Thank you. Leave us a comment. Um, check out her own um, YouTube. Oh, says, check please check out her own YouTube channel. It's Blessing Smith. Blessing Smith. I'll leave the link in the caption. So yeah. It was really nice to do this. Thank you. Thank Bye you for guys. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. <laughs> yes, please. And share. Please, people should be sharing. That's the most important part. But yeah, I'm grateful for everybody that watches my videos. Since how, how long have you been? In Canada. No, YouTube. YouTube. I started in April this year. Yeah, me year. too. Mine is, I think, April. yeah, I think mine was April too. Mm. Yeah, April or March. One of the two. It's like six months now, or thereabout. Started yeah. in April. So. Fingers crossed. Another thing, I guess, is that, I guess, with influencing over here, that's another thing. Oh, yeah. because me, I was an influencer in Nigeria. So it's I kind of hard. about it in my... <laughs> in my I talk about it today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the end of this video. Let's just be going. Yeah. <laughs> Thank Bye, you guys. For Thank you for watching. So today I have someone with me. Uh, no. no. Wait, wait, wait. Hi guys. Hi guys. Oh, this is so random. I never oh, say so hi. This is so random. I never say it. What's wrong with you? Why are you fitting my? Why are you fitting my what? <laughs> I'll stop. Sorry. Um, let me check with <laughs> What kind of chaotic video is this? So I feel like every time I have a guest on my show, this is your third person I'm having. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like it's always very chaotic. First of all, but this time around, I actually asked you to introduce yourself. It's usually it to be like me doing to the video. I'm like, oh my god, I didn't ask you to introduce yourself. So, yeah, I'm learning some things. Mm -hmm. Just check that note. <laughs>